This is the true meaning of be right, not positive. You got to be out of your fucking... You know what? I, this is the screenshot. Let me switch over to the actual post. Let me switch over. Hold on. All right, here we go. I wanted to make sure I have the actual post and photo up so we can go through it. But this is a account say your face before, and they basically compare people, mainly mainly women who've had work done. They mainly do that. Um, and they just compare it to say, is this, you know, is this real, is it fake, whatever. But this particular post, this is a dude who went from him being a boy to a, a, a woman. And, you know, my personal belief is, you know, you can never fully change. You can change certain things, but neither here nor, the, here nor there, I guess. But I'll read the post. Um, oh, This little deceitful dude blocked me all i asked was why aren't you telling men that you're a man i think he looks great and this transformation is amazing he should definitely be proud if he's happy but why aren't we yet telling men who pursue you that you're a man this is where the problem lays then then when that question is asked all of a sudden i'm transphobic trans people who normally deceive men not all do should be held accountable as well as the men who are locked up right now because of how they acted once they learned they hadn't been deceived. Now, uh, before I even get into it, that last statement, I'll, I'll just say, even though you were deceived and you find out that the chick is, you know, is really a man, I don't think it's okay to kill the person. Now, your reaction might be, you know, enraged anger, but... Uh, you know, it's hard to really justify killing somebody, but whatever. But when we get down and we go through the comment section, I'm looking for the one that I, I think this is it. Okay. No, wait, that's not it. Okay. Actually, it's the top one. She has transitioned into a woman. She is no longer a man. She is. She can disclose I was assigned male at birth, but we need to stop that is a man mentality. That's clearly not a man. She don't she don't look like a man. She don't identify as a man. It's up to her to disclose when she feels comfortable that she is trans. But the insinuation here is that there is something shameful about a man being attracted to a trans woman, and I'm sick of it. All right. Let's try to go through this point by point. Um Again, I already said I don't believe you can fully transition. Um, but see, now the problem with that to me is it, op it allows for the next sentence of she doesn't really have to enclose that she was a man or is a man because she's no longer a man. She's a woman now, so it doesn't matter. You can feel however the fuck you want as a trans person. You can say that other per the person that you are dating or that you're you know, planning or trying to get to a, a possibly a point where you're being intimate with that person because that's why we date. You can't say that that person has to be okay with it. I, that's what I'm sick of. You cannot say that, oh, well, I feel like this, so you should too. Fucking stop. All right. Um, And then the, we need to stop the is a man mentality. That, same thing. It's the same fucking thing. If I don't think you can fully transition. I don't think you can fully fucking transition. Because we have to think about everything else that's still in play here. Yeah, you might have changed your genitals. You might have changed your hair. You know, got a nose job. You might have changed a lot of shit. But, you know, one thing that I've always noticed. You you don't change the back. You can't change that fucking back. That back is, that back is the fucking back. You can't change the hands. That You can put some nails on. I got a Mexican dude that is a... I'm not sure if he actually, I've never heard of him having genital surgery, so I'm pretty sure he's just a cross-dresser. But he, he, had, he still has his manly fucking back. When I got this job and I was doing like, they were showing me the tour and I was like 30 feet from this machine, I think, 20, 30 feet, 20, it was, it was okay, 20 feet, right? And at first he was just standing there. 
waiting on waiting on this machine to push out a product or something. I don't know. But then now I'm not really paying that much. I'm not paying attention directly to him. All right, I'm just looking around and she's talking. His machine was the first machine. So I'm thinking just like a mean looking ass chick, you know, one of those, you know, the resting bitch face chicks, right? So when the thing came out of the machine, he went to pick it up. I think it hands like mine with nails on. So now, now that's just a small example, obviously, but it's still, you, you don't change everything because obviously some shit is still going to be the same. I can transition all the fuck I want. I'm six foot, half inch, 220. I... Size 13 shoe. You not. I don't give a fuck what you cut off. My back still won't look like that. My, I can I can get implants. That ain't gonna change my fucking shoulders. That ain't gonna change his form. It's not gonna happen. It's fucking not. Shave my legs. Whole pink pon- toenail on on the fucking. Or wh- I guess white is the thing on the toenails. What the fuck ever. I'm only going to put certain shoes. Now obviously. That it clearly ain't what the person in the picture is. Obviously, that person was a lot more successful at it, assumingly because they were a small stature person anyway. But that does not mean that the other every that doesn't mean every man in the world is supposed to feel the exact same way. Now, should we be shaming a man for being attracted to a trans? Listen, I don't. Well, it depends on your background, I, I think. If you don't fuck with the whole LGBT community, I understand you shaming a dude for obviously being a part of it. But uh, if I personally, whatever the fuck, I knew a dude was fucking the Mexican dude in my job, didn't give a fuck, still play Xbox with him. Online, of course. Uh, Let's see what the person said that... Did I go over everything? It's up to her to disclose when she feels comfortable. Now, the problem with this is, it, I, it sounds like she's saying, or whoever, I don't even know if this dude or not, but it sounds like this person is saying that if you're a trans, you can disclose shit. Did they, if you, see, y'all can be fucking before you disclose it. It sounds, I don't know. They didn't put a real time frame on it. She just said, when you feel comfortable. But I want to assume that they're not speaking, that you can actually engage into intimacy, physical intimacy with this person. Because that would just be asinine. So I'm going to give this person benefit of the doubt and say that they're not talking going that far. But still, I'm wasting my time in a situation I'm not going to be comfortable with. Fucking disclose it. Day one. If we chit chat, texting, setting up a date, just be like, look, trans, why would you even want to waste your time? Is what I want to know. Why the fuck would you waste your time? Uh, And again, I'm not defending it, but if people have killed people because they got caught in a situation and didn't want to be like perceived that this person that likes uh, trans women, why the fuck would you even want to be in that situation? Logic like that, I'll never understand. But moving on. See, this person replied with, there is or shouldn't be any shame about a man being attracted to a trans woman. Again, where what the fuck ever. Uh, it sure ain't all about looks. Not everyone is comfortable with the idea of being with a trans woman or a man. So therefore, if you are not ready to share with anyone that you are trying to date because that doesn't make you feel comfortable then don't do the same to others. It goes both ways. That reply just confused the hell out of me. I think this person trying to say, look, if you don't are uncomfortable about telling people about your surgery, then you probably shouldn't be dating in the first place. I think that's what that person is trying to say. Exactly. They don't deserve to be discriminated or killed, but they aren't women whether they have transplant uterus or not. It's, you can do that already? You can do, I'm going to Google that. She was born a man. She can call herself a she, but she can't transition her biological makeup. A potential partner deserves full disclosure. Anything else is disgusting. True enough. At least in my opinion. She was once a man. 
I think it's only right to warn a brother. True. I need some school pics on the first date. Them kindergarten cart. Nah. Lying about who you used to be is wrong. If you are scared to tell the truth because of fear, then you shouldn't be dating that person, period. Exactly. If you think this nigga might kill you, do you really want to really want to go that far? I don't know why some of them won't tell the truth. Shit, believe it or not, some men like trans better than real women. What's up in there? According to uh, the media, what's that dude named Hank Basket? That was uh, very, very entertaining. Uh, couples for couples therapy. So true. They should be held accountable than everybody being they bag when one is killed for it. I hate slang text. I'm not reading all of these. It's only fair to disclose you were born male. Let that man make an informed decision to move forward or not. You can look like a woman all day, but that reproductive system is just not... All right, I'm going to say this and get off, all right? If you are a trans person, right? Why would you date somebody who's on the fence about it in the first place? Like, we have apps now and... You know, they have clubs and all. I'm not trying to say that you you should have to be or it's fair. But you should probably go somewhere where you know the person is comfortable with who you are. This, to my opinion, should lead to less heartbreak, uh, less time wasting, and uh, definitely less violence. Just my assumption. All righty. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, like the video. Be right, not positive, And I'm out.